The following podcast may contain adult language and an abundance of salt. So get ready, nerds, because we're talking Stargate Atlanta, Season 1, Episode 11, The Eye. Welcome, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Salty Nerd Podcast. We're talking about Stargate Atlantis. This, of course, is part of our club members' content. So if you want full access to the entire breakdown and discussion of this episode, head over to saltynerdclub.com and join us over there, and you guys get access to four exclusive podcasts every single month having to do with classic sci-fi. Next month, we're doing Firefly, and we're having a special guest. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in Firefly or classic sci-fi in general, Join the club membership. We'd really appreciate the support. It's only $5 a month. You guys get a ton of content in return. My favorite part of doing the Patreon-only episodes is when we completely rewrite each episode. Yes. <laughs> we, yeah. we, uh, we, we recast it, yes. too. Uh, my favorite part is when our club members co completely school us in, in oh, yeah. Nerdo oh, in yeah. the chat. And they're, they're like... They come for oh, you. Oh, yeah. They, <laughs> they got even, no strings for me, man. Even they're, during the live chat when we're doing the watch party for this episode, mm -hmm. they're all like... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm like, sorry. Ooh. I didn't make it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late for you. It's like 10.30. At like 10, 19, Kate is just like, are you going to do that? And I was like, nope. <laughs> Sleepy time. Uh, anyway, I'm joined by Matt Vader. What's up, dude? I'm here, man. How are you doing? A uh, little, little better. Yeah? Oh, yeah, you do you sound, sound better. better. A little better. A little, little less froggy, mm. but still not 100%. I don't know. I take forever to recover from It's because you're old. Stuff, because I'm old. So delicate. It's all good. Delicate. Jude is also here. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm Good. How are you? This is the last episode of our Stargate thing. I know. I did know. you enjoy the show? I did. Okay, yeah. Good. Cool. And the producer of the show, Matthew Kadish. Welcome, sir. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this episode because it's the end of the, my favorite two parter. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, like it, it was fun to get to watch this and show it to you guys. And I'm hoping that you liked it. So I did. I had fun. We had fun in our watch party. Yeah, I've always liked. Night. I've always liked Stargate though. Yeah. It wasn't wasn't a hard sell for me. We man. we kind of <laughs> <laughs> we were kind of making fun of this episode though. A little oh, the bit. best part though was the thump 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 thump. I was like, oh god, that's brutal. <laughs> we'll get there, dude. Though. Yeah, <laughs> freaking Shepherd. So, it gets dark. So, what did you guys think overall of the two parter, like as a whole? Like, I, I've said this before, but anytime you have an established, like, zone where your main characters hang out and it gets invaded by, like, an enemy force, mm -hmm. I'm in. I, yeah. I love that shit. It's so fun. They do it in Voyager. They do it in TNG. Anytime they do that kind of stuff. Firefly. I'm, Firefly. <laughs> I'm in, dude. I, I love it. I love watching our heroes, like, on their heels and have to, like, defeat, like, an overwhelming force. I think it's really cool. I, I, uh, I, re I remembered why I really started disliking Ford by about this point. You mean Weir? No, Ford. no, Ford. Okay. Ford. The sidekick. The sidekick. Oh. Soldier. He's, he's so, a, he's he's so a, plain. I forgot his name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk about gargoyles, yeah. which we were talking about earlier. Yeah. He's, a <laughs> he's just dick. like in the background. <laughs> just does nothing. <laughs> just totally disrespects those scientist guys. Yeah. Like, Come on, man. Oh, him and him and Beckett. Yeah. They're back and forth. It was kind of painful to watch. Yeah, shut up till I tell you to talk or something. I don't, I don't know how it went. <laughs> <laughs> they made Beckett really whiny in, they did. in early on in this uh, show, but um, yeah. Uh, so Shepard being a badass, mm. like dude, he, he killed a lot of people. <laughs> there was there was a scene where I thought they were gonna go full Jean Claude Van Damme, and like it's in like the smoky area, mm -hmm. and he's got these guys cornered, and, they, and the camera like pans up. <laughs> I was like, he's doing the splits, he's doing oh, the splits. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that would have been dope. But no, he like straight up freaking. I mean, obviously he's in. It's wartime, but he he just massacres yeah. these people, dude. Ford has that great line where it's like, "How can we tell who Shepard is?" And he's like, "He's the dot getting rid of the other dot." <laughs> <laughs> I love that stuff, man. Yeah, this is a fun episode, dude. And uh, the bad guy, I kept thinking, I'm like, this bad guy is really dumb. He's really dumb. He's really stupid. Robert Davy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's not coming off well. Like we compare him to like the Hans Gruber because this is like a diehard situation. He's the bad guy. So automatically you're like, oh, he's the Hans Gruber of the situation. He's not as smart as Hans Gruber. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since you guys have been comparing him to like what Steven Seagal looks like now, I'm, I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> oh, he just put a really gross goatee on yeah. his face. What do they, what they call it in that other movie? A face mullet in uh, yeah. Adam Project? <laughs> That's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a face mullet oh man chin mullet I, was it a face mullet or chin yeah, mullet it was a face mullet okay. yeah okay anyway but uh i i loved like the the final confrontation between shepherd and uh and Koyla. and he's like you know 
you risk hitting Dr. Weir and he, and Shepard's just like, I'm not aiming for her. And he, like, shoots him and like, like that's the last we ever see of Coyla. Like he just like She's gets dead. shot, falls through the Stargate. Boom. He's done. Yeah. I was always, I, I was, I was wondering during that scene, I was like, so if he shoots bullets through the Stargate, do they pop out the other end and, they and, do. Hit, and yeah. hit people? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that a thing? Okay. That's pretty yeah. cool. I like that. I, I think, I think my favorite part or close to my favorite parts in this was uh, our buddy, uh, Mr. Hewlett. Mm. He was just oh. full on asshole. Yes, he was <laughs> such a dick. He's such a dick, dude. <laughs> it's like I'm the smartest guy here, and you keep well, telling me you're gonna die. He's yeah. dealing he's with, with that scratch on his arm. He's in a lot of pain. <laughs> and they like bandage over his yeah, jacket. Yeah, yeah. over the jacket. Yeah. Is that what? This is the fuck he's bandage on top of his jacket for. We're gonna have to ask him about that someday. Oh god, that's hilarious. <laughs> we probably didn't even think of it twice. Well, about Weir's it. not a doctor. So yeah, she, yeah. Did, she did the best she could. Great job, Margaret. <laughs> 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 no hewlett man he went hard in this episode he went full mckay oh, yeah like it was like just yeah he was such an ass he but it was like give him any food yeah he was mad he was hangry the whole yeah, time he, yeah. he totally was angry oh, no one wow. had fed mckay in a while yeah he was just the whole time he was just begging for his life like you can't kill me yeah. like He's that's angry all... and had a scratch on his arm yeah. like uh, no wonder he was in a bad yeah. mood he was also wet because they were out yeah. in the storm how did he get that injury did he take a bullet for weir no so like they tortured uh, him yeah yeah in in the previous episode they took oh, out their knives and oh, they were okay. interrogating him and the minute that he got like sliced he was, he was like okay. he told him everything wow. that's right yeah yeah he I was like that. i held out as long as i could <laughs> in, in third grade i cheated on my sister's test yeah, it's it was like, literally like that scene from goonies like chunk full yeah. on chunk yeah. um oh the other thing i want to talk about too was uh how freaking just how much of a badass taylor was in this episode oh i like uh, she was toying with that redheaded chick like she was a freaking like a mouse a cat and a mouse playing a game together dude it was i was watching that and i'm like is this chick gonna hold her own at all this episode nope <laughs> this uh this, this remind so i hadn't watched atlantis probably 10 years or longer right mm. i'd kind of forgotten how uh op taylor was <laughs> you, you know what i mean do they overpower her i, I a little bit I okay think. She, well, she's like freaking ninja girl man mm. it's <laughs> yeah they have this they have this thing going forward um in the future seasons where basically they always cut to Shepard training with Taylor and mm -hmm. Taylor's got like, you know, these two sticks that she fights with and she's always like kicking his ass and she's <laughs> kicking Ronan's ass and she's just like a, like a total badass stick fighter and stuff like that. So I guess I paid off stick fighter, stick fighter. Come out with that video game. <laughs> stick stick fighter. Fighter. <laughs> it's a mobile game. Yeah, stick figures. She, she knows how to handle two sticks. There you go. Speaking yeah. of uh, mobile games. Oh yeah. Where are you guys at a dragon champion? 63. 63. <gasps> Baby. I'm almost a 30. I'm so excited. Hmm. It's I'm, a I'm, I'm still at 80. Yeah. Well, yeah you've, you've plateaued. Yeah, you've plateaued. <laughs> yeah. got, our guild is growing too. We've got like wow. two or three new members of the guild, right? That's cool. I, I, don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Where can people find that? Saltynerd.com slash DC. Download Dragon Champions. Type in the promo code SALTY and you guys can get some extra stuff uh, to help you along your way. It's really helpful. You get like a new character and a bunch of money and uh, free stuff. Yeah, free stuff. It's always good. Free stuff is always good. But it's completely free to play, and you guys can help support the podcast by playing it. And uh, once you get to level 20, join our guild, because we have, what, we have room for 25 people? Yeah, I think okay. we got like 10 left or something. Yeah, so we're, we're running out of room, guys. So if you sign up, you can join our guild, because it taps out at 25 people, and then no more. That's weird, right? 25 like people. Kate will start his own guild. Well, we could start Salty Nerd Guild, like, 2.0 or something, something. right? Yeah, Just have, yeah like, you can start a sister guild. Ha have the B team. Have the B team. <laughs> yeah, who's way better than the A team? Yeah, they can actually negotiate. Yeah, the happens. first guild yeah. was called Salty Nerd Guild. The second was just like B team. B team. <laughs> <laughs> Salty bees. <laughs> anyway, the expendables. Uh, uh, the guys at Dragon Champions really help support the podcast. We want to return the favor, so head over there, download it on whatever platform you're using it, whether it's an iPad or Android or whatever, and uh, and start playing the game and join us. We'd really appreciate it. Oh. All right, guys. Uh, is everybody satisfied? We're going to yeah, do a deep dive now? Let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right, guys. So this is, this is how it's going to work. If you sign up for saltynerdclub.com, you will get access to this entire episode where we do a scene-by-scene -scene breakdown of this entire episode. And we have a lot of fun. And we kind of like jokingly rewrite what we think was bad. And we kind of like joke around about what we thought could have been better about it. So head over to the club membership and join the club members. We love hanging out with those guys. We do watch parties and we're, we're doing trivia coming up, I think, in May sometime about Stargate Atlantis too. So um, we'd love the support and you guys can get access to a ton of content. So thank you all for joining us for this video. Vader, where can they find you on the socials? 
you can find me at Matt Vader 74 on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, or, um, Saturday mornings, Saturday mornings. Yeah. Yeah. Here on this channel. You guys gotta let me know how strange new world is or what is, what, what's the show called? Strange new worlds. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping it's better than Picard. I have no faith. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. It can't be worse. <laughs> Oh, it could. <laughs> I feel like it you really? just jinxed it. Yeah. Really? Can it be worse? I don't know. I really, I'm a big fan of Anson Mount. Like he's really cool. Yeah. I hope. It, I hope it's at least watchable. Yeah. I guess we'll see. Didn't they? Did they recast Captain uh, Kirk? Yeah. Oh. Apparently, is a cameo or something. Oh, it's so dangerous. Jude, where can they find you on the socials? You can find me at I am Jude Juju on Instagram and on TikTok. All right, Matthew Kadish. You can find me at Matthew Kadish, K-A-D-I-S-H on Twitter. Kadishbooks.com takes you to our Amazon page. And we are doing Firefly next month, mm -hmm. right, for the, the members area. Yep. And yep. Uh, that should be a lot of fun. Yeah. We're going to be speaking with uh, Adam Baldwin at a certain point, uh, who played Jane in Firefly. Man, and, they uh, call yeah, Jane. Ho hopefully he can give us uh, some insight into uh, that show that uh, we didn't previously know about. Yeah, it'd be great. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, club members. Let's go. Everybody else, stay salty.